Hey, what's up? Alex here. As promised, this video I'm going to do like a tutorial walkthrough of how do you integrate some of the Akara Smart Home devices into the SmartThings platform. The SmartThings platform is what I've been using and recommend to those that wants to consolidate your devices to a central management solution. For the Akara line of products, they are one of the better quality and affordable choice in Singapore. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of choices here. As Akara doesn't have an out-of-the-box integration with SmartThings, there are some configuration you need to do in order to use the devices. So let me show you step by step how this can be done. I have put timestamps in the video, so feel free to jump to any sections you want. First, let's create a Samsung account. If you are already an existing user, then use back what you use to log into your SmartThings app. Okay, note that everything that is covered in this section can be done without having the physical devices yet. So once the items are delivered, straight away you can use them. Okay, go to this URL. I put the URL in the video description for easy copy and paste. This site is called the SmartThings Groovy IDE and IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Basically, this is where you do the integration configuration work. Once your account is created, then log in. So at the top right is your navigation items. If you are an existing user, you should see your hub and your devices when you click on them. For the purpose of this guide, I am using a brand new account that has nothing inside. Click on my device handlers. Device handler is something like your Windows device driver. It is a piece of code that enables your Windows operating system, um, in our case, SmartThings to control the target device. Look for Enable GitHub Integration. Click that. Then this is to link your GitHub uh, together with SmartThings. Click on Authorize Application. Then it will prompt you for your GitHub credential. Same thing, create an account if you don't have one. Okay, what is GitHub? If you are not in the IT industry, you will most probably not heard of this before. GitHub is a very common and popular site for software developers to manage their source code for version control, collaboration, and development workflows, and so on. But don't worry, there's no need to deep dive into GitHub. Um, just need to create an account, that's all. Once your account has been created, then go back to sign in with your credentials. So once done, you will be back to this screen with these three additional buttons here. Click on settings. You will see one entry here, uh, which is your own GitHub account. We want to add other accounts here that have the source code for the Accra devices. Click on add new repository. So I want you to key in this. Once done, click save. Click on update from repo. So the first entry should be yourself. So click on the second one. So what you see here are the files being shared by this GitHub user account. Those with .groovy file extensions are the actual device handler files you want. Select the Akara wall switch child and select the Akara wall switch. Then check on publish right below. Then click on execute update. So now you will see two entries inside your device handlers page. This is what I use for my Akara wall switches. To add the device handlers for the other devices, apply the same concept, repeat the same steps. Okay, now let's add the Akara curtain. Click on settings, add new repository, then key in this. Okay, then click save. Click on update from repo then choose Xiaomi SJ. This is the list of device handlers shared by this user. I want the Xiaomi Akara Curtain B1. Okay, check on publish, execute update. So one more entry is in your device handlers page. Let's add another one more. Uh, this time we get the Akara contact sensor. Okay, from BSP Ranger. Click save, click on update from repo, choose this Xiaomi. Okay, um, you can see that um, he has quite a number of other device handlers as well. I want the Akara door window sensor, which is this one. Check on publish, then execute update. So that's it. 
Okay, to summarize what just happened, we make use of the GitHub integration with SmartThings. We input the GitHub user accounts, then retrieve the specific device handlers we want into our own account. And if you're wondering how I know which GitHub accounts to take those device handlers from, basically you go to the SmartThings community forum, do some browsing and searching over here, then just follow the instructions from the community. Do some testing, try and error, and see whether it works as what you expect. With that, we are done with this section. Next section, I'm going to show you how do you add the devices in. Once the items are here, you are now ready to add them into SmartThings. For the wall switches, of course, you need to get the wiring done first. Go to your SmartThings, tap on the plus icon on top, choose device, then we are going to tap on scan nearby. What is going to happen is we want to put the devices into like a discovery state, sending Zigbee signals out. Different devices have different ways to do that. It is basically the same as how you want to add them inside the Akara app. So for a two gang switch, we want to long press the right switch, then you will see flashing blue light. This might take more than a try, but usually I get it in the first attempt. If it's successful, you will see the devices recognized inside smart things. Do a quick test and see whether it works. Okay, let's add the Akara contact sensor next. For sensors, I would suggest you to have them right beside the hub first before placing them at the exact spot you want. So do the same, add a new device, scan nearby, reset the device, keep doing it until the app found the device. Okay, lastly, go back to your Groovy IDE to just verify that your devices are using the correct device handler. Click on My Devices, look for the device, under type, it should correctly reflect the name of the device handler. If somehow it is not the right one, then just click on edit, click on the drop down list under type and select the correct device handler you want. Click on update to apply the changes. So that's all. You can now rename the device, allocate them to rooms and set any automation you want for them. Okay, this section is just for the Akara Magic Cube. This is one of my favorite. It is a wireless switch that has a minimum of six gestures trigger. 90 degrees turn, 180 degrees turn, rotate right, rotate left, shake and push. Because of this, you will need to make use of a smart app called Web Core to configure this. So I will first show, first show you what are the things you need to configure on the IDE side. Same thing, get the device handlers in for both the Akara Cube and Web Core. So for that, I will add new repository. I will get the Akara Cube from Droid Sector. Uh, smart things, public, save update from repo and look for the Xiaomi Mi Cube over here. Alright, publish and execute update. Okay, Xiaomi Mi Cube added. Now we want to add in the web core. So for that you get from ADY624 and web core save. Update from repo, choose web core there's only one entry, just select that, publish, execute, update. Okay, now the device handlers are done, you want to click on My Smart Apps. So inside, you want to update from repo, select web call as well. Then you will see four entries, choose the just the web call by itself first, you need to install this. Okay, publish, execute, update. Okay, once done, you want to go to web call again and install the rest, the dashboard, piston and storage. Publish, execute, update. So once that's all done, you want to look at web call by uh, the base and you would need to edit the properties for that. Okay, basically you want to enable OAuth so that all the different components can communicate with each other. Alright, scroll down, you should see OAuth, then enable OAuth in Smart App, then click on Update. Okay, once done, just verify that it's uh, true over here. So we are done, now ready to add in the Akara Magic Cube. Adding the Magic Cube is different from the rest. We are going to use the Catch All method for this. Navigate to My Hubs, then click on List Events. This is like the event log, whatever is happening will be captured over here. Proceed to reset the cube and look out for a catch all event. You will see a line of characters made out of numbers and alphabets. Capture the seventh set from the left, that four characters will be the device ID of the cube. Navigate to my devices at the top, 
then click on the plus new device button. Put the four characters under the device network ID text field. For the type, choose the Xiaomi Mi Cube device handler. Give a name to the device, select your hub. Once done, click create. Now we can go to the SmartThings app on your mobile. Go under automations and you should see the smart apps there. If you don't, just go ahead to add the web call in. After that, go in the app and tap on settings. Under available devices is where you will add all the devices that you want to be triggered by the cube. After that, go back to the web call app and select register a browser. It will appear a one-time code that you will use to access the web call website. Now, back to the desktop. Head over to this URL, put in the code and it should bring you to the dashboard. Go ahead and click on new piston, then create a blank piston, give a name to the author and click create. At first glance, this might look scary like you need to write codes yourself, but this is actually a low code environment with a lot of UI wizard to guide you along. At the right is the list of devices that you have included just now in the SmartThings app. To add a trigger for the cube, click on this, add a new statement, then choose add an if block, add a condition. The condition I want to set is if the Akara cube button 1 is pushed. Okay, you must be wondering how do I know what to fill in over here. Same thing, this is the steps shared in the community forum over here. What the different button number represents for each gesture, then an example is given here. So with that, let's click add and you can see the condition statement is there. Add a new statement under then and you want to set the actions you want. Choose the device. Click add a task. From the drop down, you can simply select device to turn off or turn on up to you. Then click add will add the action statement in. More or less, this is the idea. You can play around with this. Once you're done, just click save and you can test the piston. So that's all for the Akara Magic Cube integration. I want to mention that SmartThings is most likely going to change and remove this way of configuration in the future patch to make it more user friendly. I have no idea when, so it's up to you whether you want to spend the time and effort to try this out. As Akara has multiple versions of the same device, I can't 100% say for sure what I've shown you in this guide will work for everything. Some people say that it doesn't work well for 3 gang switches. I don't have 3 gang switches so I can't test that. What I have is shown in my smart home tour video and they all work perfectly fine. So that's all for this guide. I hope everything is clear and easy to follow. So if you're considering whether to use smart things with Akara, I hope this video gives you a better idea of what to expect. And for those of you who are already on the SmartThings platform, spend some time on the community forum. It will help you to get a better understanding on what are the other possible integrations and automations you can do. Alright, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!